G'day guys, Matt Zadie here from Manitou Australia and today we're going to get you familiar on the 1050RT. Before you start your day, you're going to want to do a quick walk around and visual inspection of the machine. The first critical component you're going to check is the track tension. Now with the entire Manitou range of track loaders, we run a system called Ideal Tracks, which is a zero maintenance self tensioning track system. So as soon as you turn that key, you can be sure that that track is at the perfect tension. To access the engine bay, you simply lift the hood and grab the convenient handle located just behind the door. As you swing open the door, you'll have access to all your major servicing components, as well as your daily checkpoints, as well as fluids, master battery disconnect, your battery, air filter, oil dipstick, as well as diesel fuel point. If you do happen to be working on uneven ground and are struggling to keep the rear door open, simply flick the tab down here, lift the pin, which will allow you to lock the door into position and stop it swinging from back in front of you. Before you close the rear door, it's always great to check for debris and if there is chaff or other material sitting on the rear door blocking your cooler, it's a good idea to blow it out using a compressor or some other brush or other element. Wide spacing between the cylinders, a convenient low step and easy to reach handles make accessing and egressing the cab as safe as possible, allowing you to maintain three points of contact at all times. The first thing you're going to want to do when you set up the machine for your day is ensure that the controls and seat are exactly where you like them for ultimate visibility and comfort. To slide the seat, simply lift the bar and slide forward and back on the rail. Next, we have a three inch seat belt. Simply twist in and is retractable and you have your overhead bar. Now this safety bar runs a system called Hydrolock. With the bar up or if the bar begins to lift, all drive and lifting functions will be ceased and the park brake engaged by the machine. Once here and the seat adjusted how you like it, you simply adjust the towers by using the two bolts on the side undo and then slide forward and back to the position that best suits your reach. Once you find your position, you tighten it back up and you're right to go. The control system of a 1050RT is a joystick pilot ISO system. This is a hydraulic over hydraulic system in which the left hand drives your machine forward, back, left, right, and your right hand controls your lift arms up and down crowd and dump of your bucket and your third function. In this case, we have a four in one bucket and so we have open and close on the bucket. On your left hand, you also have your horn and on your right, your two buttons are your boom suspension or hydroglide and bucket float. On the right hand upright of the machine, you have all the other controls to operate the machine. Your key to start and turn off the machine, your basic infotainment display, fuel level, warning and indicator lights, park brake, hand throttle, switch for your uh, hazard lights and working lights, and right down the bottom, you have your foot pedal. The 1050RT is fitted with a DPF, diesel particulate filter. This system will automatically run a reset regeneration every 100 hours or so. It is not advised to inhibit or turn off the engine whilst the reset regeneration is in process. You will know that the reset regeneration is in process as there will be display up on the screen.